Thank you both to both of our great doctors and to our team here at Trenton Healthcare. You know, when we founded this company, uh, we decided that it was so unfair that patients suffering from addiction were treated as outcasts. My mother suffered from cancer for 25 years. I had five brothers. We never let her go to a single doctor's appointment where at least one of our brothers, and usually more than one, accompanied her. And I'm proud to say that the treatment she got was outstanding. When she had her multiple operations, neighbors, friends, cousins, aunts, uncles, cooked food, came over to the house, helped out, and to quote Trish Caldwell, one of our family counselors, leaned in to do everything they could do to help our family because they felt deep empathy for my mother's cancer and what she was going through. I was amazed at the level of health care that she was given and the level of compassion and treatment. During those same 25 years, I was doing volunteer interventions for people suffering from addiction. And I didn't care whether they had a lot of money, no money, male, female, gay, straight, didn't matter if they needed help, we helped them. And if you've ever been on an intervention, it's a battle of wills. The patient does not want to get treatment they want to use. And so you, you make up your mind that you're fighting the devil and you're going to do whatever it takes to get that patient to surrender and come to treatment. And sometimes it takes an hour, and sometimes a day, and sometimes a week. And as one of our co-founders, uh, Jay Yude, said one day, he had one that took 25 years, um, but you never give up. And then after they say yes, you had to get them to go to these awful facilities where they didn't lean in and didn't care. I found it amazing that this one disease was selected as the disease that we can choose to ignore and, and create outcasts. And how unfair it was, and I analogize it to a kid in the school yard that's constantly bullied. And how everybody sits on the sidelines and afraid to do anything about it because they don't want to take on the bullet. So one day I, I had a longer intervention and, uh, and the outcome at the facility we took this particular young man to it was horrible. I said, that's it. We're going, to, we're going to change the way addiction is treated in the United States for good. And we're going to raise the bar for everybody else. We're going to be so good at it. And we're going to change the way all these facilities that I dealt with for 40 years operate. And so we wrote a business plan. <coughs> we started with one employee, and then five, and then seven, and then 50 and 100, and now 1,500. And uh, we've opened from uh, northern Massachusetts down to southern uh, Maryland. And along the way, we found that there's great social inequality in treatment. You know, the beautiful thing about our healthcare system, as much as we do complain about it, is for all diseases except for addiction, pretty much anybody can access health care. <coughs> you can walk into an emergency room, and they're going to treat you, whether you have money or not. And I, I think it's one of the great things about the United States. I know we're always talking about health care. But I, for one, feel that everybody's entitled to it. And uh, yet in addiction, there was a massive economic divide. If you had a $40,000 check and you could write it in advance, first class operations like Betty Ford, Hazel, Tim, and Karen would certainly take you. If you had private insurance, there was a level of folks one level down that would take you. If you're Medicare, Medicaid, you're pretty much out of luck. Mm -hmm. And so we decided that we we're going to see to it that everybody got treated. And our philosophy and our mission is to treat one million people, one patient at a time, one neighborhood at a time, and to take our facilities and put them in neighborhoods so patients no longer had to fly to California, Florida, or Arizona to get treatment, but could drive down the street to their home. Trenton Healthcare is the first of the ultimate neighborhood treatment facilities. And it also defies all demographic barriers. We're here to treat everybody. 
And every day we sit and we try and solve one problem. How do we remove barriers to treatment? How do we make it easier and easier and easier? We recently opened evening treatment hours, which we'll be getting shortly. We're putting in a series of vans to transport our patients, which we do in all of our other businesses. We're bringing Trent Healthcare into our mission center. We have folks that work 365 days a year, seven days a week, Christmas, New Year, 24 hours a day. And they will answer their phone in six seconds or less. We have cars up and down the East Coast to pick up at your house in an hour of your phone call. And we do everything to make it easy to access treatment, verify benefits over the phone. We work with the insurance companies to make sure that they pay those benefits so that the patients get what they need. And we do long-term financing for people who don't have the money and uh, oftentimes don't get paid and never once go after the money. And, uh, and here, we also are taking Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, and, and just today, one of my lifelong dreams began to take shape uh, in my discussions with Dr. K, where we both agreed that we're going to bring a, a full medical facility here into this facility so that we can treat the whole patient, not just the, the addiction, but also all the other ailments that, that have occurred because of their inability to receive care uh, in the proper manner. But, you know, God gives us gifts, and we got to return those gifts and use them, and we've all been very gifted. We have a great partner in Deerfield, and we've raised hundreds of millions of dollars for this effort. And I was in a meeting yesterday, and we were debating strategy. And at the end of the, the debate, I said, we got to do this, I'm right. And I said, you know what, you're right. Let's go out to lunch. And it was a major expense to do a better job that had nothing to do with profit or loss, but had everything to do with doing a better job of treating the patient. So we're glad you are here. We're happy to be a member of your community. We thank you for accepting us in your community. You have our word that we will do the best job of anybody in this industry to make sure that every patient gets the best treatment they can with dignity and respect. And we hope we can help you. And if you call 1-800-RECOVERY 24 hours a day, you have somebody who needs help, we'll see to it that they get help. So thank you very much for being here.